atherosclerosis after COVID infection. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. This is from Frontiers in Medicine 2021 from a Chinese group, because for obvious reasons, they were some of the first groups to see this. The objective was to clarify susceptibility to new onset atherosclerosis in SARS-CoV infection. The authors looked at 71 patients with A1C levels and angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE2 receptor mediators. They were looking at these in terms of COVID infection. And as you know, they discovered early on that those of us who have diabetes or pre diabetes. And guess what? If you're on this channel, 50% of us are 55 or older. And most of that group has at least prediabetes or diabetes. So this is us, folks. The combination of prediabetes and COVID leads to endothelial dysfunction. It damages the lining of our artery wall. There's dysregulation of renin angiotensin system, which is what covers and controls our blood pressure. You may remember there was a lot of concern early on about a inhibitors because a very, very popular and one of the best blood pressure control medications. So in the very beginning, when that was discovered, they said, oh, maybe you shouldn't take ACE inhibitors. That was debunked within a few weeks, but that was a big question. And this is why it was, because it was looking at that ACE receptor, which controls blood pressure. So expression of receptors such as CD147, NLRP3, these were inflammatory receptors. And you started getting those receptors firing off and reflecting inflammation in the artery walls. So SARS-CoV-2 or COVID attacks the immune system and the respiratory system, the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system. It attacks a lot of stuff. I was just talking with another patient yesterday who's got long COVID and having some major problems. And he and I both brought up the point, the folks that think that COVID's nothing but a minor flu, we are going to live through it. We're going to push through it. We're already getting there, but it's a lot more than a flu.